I'm Chandra Anton. I'm going to show you how to desensitize him to being mounted, and then we're going to start riding him. So I'm going to get him up here to the mounting block. And I'll put it close to the gate so he wouldn't want to try and move around too much. I don't want to put it down there because he's going to want to go this way, so he's going to want to walk off. So he likes to move around a lot. He likes to go as soon as you get on there. So I just want to do a lot of relaxing stuff with him. Nice and calm. Let's see if I could get up here. His head bent. Just gonna pretend I'm gonna get on. Let's get that. Pretend I'm gonna get on. Want to stay pay attention to me. It's not too bad. It's not too off to the races, but I want him to stand there. So. And he's good for when I mount. It's just as soon as you get on, he's like, all right, let's go. So I'm just going to bend him. Good. And I already did this in the bridle on the ground, like you saw in the first series. So I'm just going to keep the hand out to the side. Wait for him to bend and bring my hand in. Good. I'm going to let him keep his head low. So he walks off, bend it out till he bends his body, bring my hand to my hip, good, and release. See, he could like cannot sit still. He just, I mean, he is a walker, so I guess he wants to walk. So I just hold it out, good, bend him around. So I just want him to stay in. That's, that's all I want to do first. He bends a little bit easier this way, so I just want him to get a stand on this side first, on his left side. There. So I'm standing relaxed. Everything's going to be opposite with him than it was with Winslow, because we want to relax, 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 instead of Winslow's like, let's go, let's go. Just kind of wiggle on him. There. Let him put his head down. But I don't want him distracted. So I'll let him put his head down so he's doesn't feel any stuff on the bridle, but I don't want him um, sniffing the ground or trying to roll or anything like that. So I didn't ask him to walk off, so we're just gonna wait till he bends, keep that arm out. There he's crossing that hind foot over and under. I'm just gonna wait for him. There, good. I just want him to stop and stand here. He's super bendy and weird. Every time I move like that, he just wants to go. So it's going to be a lot of bending to a stop. There you bend his body, bend his nose in. You always want to keep your hand out first. So I keep my hand out, get a bend, and stop him. Good. You will probably do that five million times until he stops and stands. Good. But he's staying relaxed, his head's nice and level. Oh, it's going to be a little bit higher just because he's gated, but. Every time, let's wait for him. And there we go. He's chomping on that bridle a little bit. And it's a little bit higher than I usually put it because he's got these big canine teeth up front, but he'll be all right. He can hold it. But he's doing better already. He's he's taking less steps between going. There we go. I just want him to stand still. Get on, stand still. I'm gonna do the opposite of what he wants. He wants to go, go, go. We just want to stand. See, I barely moved. I sat up in my saddle, and he's like, all right, let's go. And that's probably, someone just taught him that. They got on, they're like, let's go for a trail ride. You just want to get on and relax. That's what you want. Good. No. So I'm not going to yank on his face. That would just scare him. I just want to take that bend out. He bends his body, bring that hip up. I want that foot underneath him. See how it's, it's out there? I put my leg on the little, there we go. Still underneath him. He does that both on the ground and there we go, and under saddle. So, like I haven't done a ton of yielding the hindquarters on him, but I don't want that foot out. So I would get on, I want him to stand, I flex him both ways, which is what we're still on, and then I yield his hindquarters, but I, want, I don't want that foot out there. There, good. Nice, nice. A little distracted. Good, that's the longest time he stood still. Let's see if he'll go. Yep, there he goes. I want that leg.
leg underneath him. There. Good. Because when I'm bending him to a stop, it's, it's mostly the bend. It's not bending his neck, it's bending his body. That hind, like he wants to be like a C shape. You want that hind leg underneath him. If he's got that leg way out here, he's not relaxed. That's the whole part about bending to stop, is relaxing. Good. So he's standing for longer and longer time. And it's not going to be real interesting, but it's not going to be real interesting in the beginning. And then once we get this down, then we can go do all kinds of things. But this is the important stuff. Perfect. You just need to do a lot of opposite of what he wants. That's perfect. So let him sit here. I'm just going to flex him. I don't want him to go anywhere. Good. Uh, he wants to go somewhere. Just wait for him. There he goes. And he flexes a ton better on that left side. He thinks every move in the saddle, every touch of the rein means go. And we just want to get him to think that's not true. So that was good. Let's see if he can flex this way. Uh, didn't think so. But not too much motion, so that's not bad. Good. See, I barely move, and he's like, so see, I'm going to keep moving, and I'm going to bend. Just stop. Good. And then I'll stop where he stops. So like he thinks me just adjusting here is something to go. There. So like if I'm wiggling in my saddle and he goes off, I'll keep going. Bend him to stop. When he stops, I'll stop. So there he kind of like got up tense, tense and uptight. So I just kept going until he flexed that head and relaxed, and then I stopped. Just like the desensitizing. Good. So see if he can flex without going. He can. Can he flex without going this way? Nope. So I'll wait for him. legs underneath him. He, like I want him to bend his body, get his leg underneath him, and then I want him to soften to that rein and I'll release. So he softens, release. So he can flex to the left and stand still. Now can he flex to the right and stand still? Yep. Awesome. And this all that we just did wouldn't be necessary if he wasn't so like, let's go, let's go. You want to get on? Flex him left, right? All right, let's go. But he needs a lot more stand. So. And every time he, he got his head up and his ears back and he's like, oh, gets a little tense. I just want to bend that tension out of him. Like that. Good. Now he's standing a lot better, so now we're going to ask him to move. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to just yield his hindquarters, wrong way. So I'm going to bend him out, bend him in. I'm just going to set that leg right there. There. He steps underneath himself. Perfect. So I barely put my leg on. He stepped under. I took it off. He softened to the rain, and then I let go. So I want to make sure I don't hit that. So we're going to try again. So I'm going to bend him. He doesn't want to go anywhere. In this slide, I'm putting pressure with my leg, pressure with my leg, I released. And he's still going, so we'll wait for him. There he stepped under, he softened to my rein, and I let go. Good. I'll ask him again, see, does he want to go? Yep. Okay, so we'll, we're not going to ask him to move then. You know, do the opposite. So if I flex him around, he wants to go, we're just going to flex. If I flex him around, he, he's not going anywhere, then we're like, okay, we can yield our hindquarters. So, there he's moving. He's like, I don't know if it's a walker thing, but he's really bendy, and I feel like he's gonna, I'm gonna slide right off the other side there whenever he moves. There he's stepping under, that's much better. Okay, see if he's just gonna flex. Okay, I'm gonna put my leg on, it's off. Stepping under, stepping under. Just wait for him. Is at it. Good. So I want to wait for him with my hand here and then bring it up with his feet or bent. Or if his feet come under him. Good. So we'll do that one more time here. See if he wants to go. Nope. Put my leg on. He steps underneath. The leg's off. He comes to a stop. He softens. We're done. Good. Now we're going to do that 
same thing to the left. He wants to go. So I keep wiggling my saddle and I'll bend him to a stop. And we'll stop. Good. So bend him. He doesn't want to go. Good. So we'll test him again. Bend him. Put my leg on. Steps underneath. Legs off. Wait for him to stop. And he stops and then release. There we go. You see how his head's low and he's nice and relaxed? Way better than his last few rides. I understand like his head is going to come up for when he's gating and stuff, but I want him to just, I want him to be over relaxed. I want him a little bit dull, almost. Good boy. Okay. We're gonna, it's a little bit worse on this right side, so we'll just wait for him. Bend him to a stop. There he goes. Stop. Bend him again. He's anticipating going. We'll just wait. I'm not going to ask him to kneel his hindquarters until he's not anticipating. Stretch his head down. Okay, so he's thinking about stopping. Put my leg on, legs off. Steps underneath and flexes his head. Good. Very nice. He's trying to pull it away. There. I want him to slowly take it back. So I'll show you on this side. Wait for him to stop. Him. There he softens. See, he just slowly takes it back. I don't want him like pulling it, trying to look over at other things. Just keep holding it. See, he's trying to look. No, nope. there. So I just hold that every time. He can just pull against himself until he stands still. Okay, so we'll try on this side. He's not going anywhere. Put my leg on. Legs off because he moved. Wait for him. Underneath himself, he flexes smearing good. Ask him to go. So I'll bend him to the side and wait for his nose. There you go. So now I'm going to go and test him again. See if he's going to move off because I just I just sensitize him to my legs. So now I want to tell him that that doesn't legs up on me. That doesn't always mean we're going to go around. Because okay. I want it to go off in a straight line. So It's too bendy. I want him to bend that body, not just that neck. I'm not going to walk around. Just wait for him. And it's, it's weird with him. Usually most horses don't have that leg out. He had his legs so far out. It might be a gated thing, I'm not sure, but that's just something I really had to pay attention with him. See if he wants to go anywhere. Flex him both ways. Good. Oh, don't eat the rain, please. <laughs> When his head goes up, I'm going to bend, put a bend in him. Good. Good. So he's not thinking about going, so I'm going to ask him to go. Put legs on. There we go. So I'm just going to let him cruise around here on a loose rein. I want a loose rein, but I don't want to be on the buckle with him because I want to, if I need to bend him to a stop, I want to do it right away. So I'm just going to let him go, see if he wants to go stop by the gate, stop by his friends, wherever. Just going to cruise around. He lives right over here, so of course he's going to go over here. Oh, he lives right there. Nope. And I'm just going to ask him to go. He doesn't seem to be super gate sour or herd bound or anything horrible. So I haven't had to bend him and put a lot of pressure on him. I just asked him to keep going. Let 
let him walk around a little, see where he wants to get. Let's try the corners, I guess. Oh, there's no grain for you in there. Go on. Let him stretch his head down. He's really got a long straight walk. He wants to go down this corner, okay. No, oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. So there, that's a nice headset. Nice and low relax. So I'm gonna ask him to stop here. I'm gonna sit down. If nothing's happening. Take my arm out. Bed him to a stop. Wait for him. Wait for my him to soften my rain. There. Good. And off he goes. So I'm just gonna flex him again. This is like the very beginning. So I'm gonna ask him to stop by the gate because it's gonna help me out. Eventually you definitely don't want to do that, but I want him to just get the concept at first. We're not gonna walk anymore, we're gonna stand. So I'm just gonna bend him to a stop. legs out underneath him so I put a little leg pressure there we go I don't want him stopping with that leg out wait for him still out little leg pressure here like that legs off legs on I want it under himself a little bit off and still out there Little leg pressure off. And there we go, that's what I want. Wait for him to soften to my rain. Keep waiting. There he goes. Very good. Good. I know that's kind of boring, but he, like after all that walking, he actually stood still. And so this is what we want, like, he walked when I wanted him to walk, and now he's standing still longer than he has in a while, so I'm just going to let him stand here for a bit. And I know it's by the gate, and that's fine right now. I'll, t I'll take standing anywhere for him, he's not really good at that. Let him relax a little bit. Oh boy. Getting a little tense, just bend his head. There you go. He wants to bend the other way. Oh, I didn't ask you to. Good. Just rub on him. Well, I think standing is a good thing. You don't have to worry about stuff. on him. If he looks away, I'll just kind of, there we go. Good. That's really good. Now this is actually perfect for him because he's just, he's a walker. He wants to go. He wants to walk. He doesn't stand well. He stands tied to a patient pole for hours a day. So this is a great place for him to just stop for the day since he's Standed still. It doesn't seem like we did a ton, but this is perfect for him. Like he's got his level head, he's nice and relaxed, and he's not moving around. So we'll just end him on that and then we'll uh, pick back up with him and we'll get him gating and stuff.